Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not spoken to you guys in such a long time. Um, it's been a bit crazy for a little while. It was kind of a bit crazy before this whole corona thing happened. And then coronavirus kind of took over the world pretty much. And we are still on lockdown in the UK. Um, but enough about that. Um, I am here in the uh, salon today. Um, I've been coming in roughly once a week to do some online masterclasses. I will leave the link down below for you if you are interested in um, any of those classes. Um, any of the ones that I've run previously I've popped on my website and you can um, purchase the replay of them. So I'll leave that down in the uh, description box below for you. And today's video is a pretty exciting one. Um, just before I left home to come here, um, I had a very special delivery. And it's something that I haven't actually filmed on my channel for a little while because um, I've just not ended up getting the collections either before the launch date or um, they've come literally a day or two before and I've just been so busy with um, salon stuff that I haven't had a chance to film one of these videos. But it arrived today and the new collection has not launched yet. So in this box here, I have the brand new Buttercream Summer Collection. So um, big thank you to Sweet Squared who kindly sent this collection over to me. Um, I've opened the box literally just to make sure that it was what I thought it was, but I've um, not looked inside yet. So um, these are truly my first impressions. So this video is gonna be a first impressions, um, a swatch video, and also comparisons to um, any light elegance colors that we have already so i'm going to open up the box packaging get rid of that and here we have the new summer buttercream collection this is the nautical collection summer 2020 light elegance buttercream collection so um Let's get straight to it. I'm gonna move the camera over to the desk and show you these colors. This is the packaging of the new collection. Um, looks like there is a couple of blues, which I'm very happy about. Um, anything blue or green is good with me. Um, it looks like we have a nude and a couple of pinks and a coral. So I am gonna open this up. Ooh. Ooh, 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 they look nice. Now, obviously we can't always guarantee that the lids look exactly the same as the color, but first impressions, very, very nice. I love the fact that there is two blue in this collection and a nude, because nudes are always really popular. And then some nice bright, so. Um, I am going to grab some colour pops and I'm going to open these up for you and do some swatches so we can see what they actually look like. Just to run through the colours, the names quickly, we have um, Anchors Away, Man Overboard, Sure Thing, Ahoy There Matey, <laughs> What's Happening Captain and All Hands on Deck. So let's get into it. I am just going to go through these in the order they are in the box because I can't really decide which one I want to look at first. So um, the first one we have here is Anchors Away, which looks like a really nice blue. So let's open this one up so you can see I have not opened these. These are my true first impressions, but I can never get these things off when I'm excited. So let's open. Oh, that is nice. I don't actually know if it's coming off on camera as um, as nice as it is in real life. So this to me is kind of a mid electric blue. Oh my God, it's so nice. And I've got blue already everywhere. I'll take that glove off. <laughs> we'll just keep that glove off. Um, let me see if I turn my brightness down. 
whether it looks ah maybe it looks a bit more true to color now i am loving this color let's get it onto a color pop Um, I just use these, um, I get them from Sweet Squared as well. Um, all of my colour pops are this. I know um, Light Elegance make their own for the colour gels, but um, I just always use these previously, so um, it's just easier for me. And I just use the labels on these colour pops instead. Um, I'm going to grab my one of my gel polish brushes. Um, I always have several of these because um well you can never have too many really but no the real reason is that um it just means you can have one for different types of colors so one for darks one for lights one for glitters all that jazz uh okay i have a brush i have a paper towel so i can wipe that off onto there um i'm gonna give you one of my little tips here uh, my tip for painting colour onto colour pops is to lay a thin layer of tack onto the tip, give it a cure, and then your colour will stay on your colour pop. If you're anything like me, you've had a couple where the colour's actually kind of popped off of the um, colour pop, so by putting tack on, it does not happen. Oh, I'm excited to try this out. So for those of you that don't know when buttercreams, when you open them, they pretty much stay where they are. So we just need to give them a little agitate first, get them nice and fluid so that they are easier to paint and get nice and smooth. Uh, so let's paint this one first. Oh, I like it. This is definitely my kind of colour. I hope it's coming off on camera. Sometimes what's in my viewfinder looks different to the finished result when I am editing. So hopefully you're getting the true colour on the screen. Oh my God, I love it. That is really nice and that is one coat so really really nice coverage some of the buttercreams need to go on in two but this one definitely looks like it will be a one layer wonder here is the first color this is anchors away which like i say to me is like a mid electric blue um, anyone that likes blues is going to love this color it's a true blue there's no purple in it there's no yeah, it is just a very true, bright, summery blue. Very nautical. So I'm going to go through all of the colours first and then do comparisons at the end. So the next one is Man Overboard. Let's see what this one is like. I keep forgetting that I've still got the foils on. I'm like opening it up expecting to see the colour. Nice. Nice. That will be very popular. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I am not a pink person, but our clients love pinks, as I'm sure most of yours do as well. Um, it's a nice mid-tone pink. I'm gonna be intrigued to see what this one looks like next to, I always get it round the wrong way. It's either beautiful and bold or bold and beautiful, but I'm looking forward to seeing what that one is like next to it. So let's get this one onto a colour pop. Sorry guys, I just realised that I wasn't filming. Um, this is Man Overboard. Oh, this one's got nice coverage as well. So I would call this a warm rosy pink. And although it's quite bright, I would say this will be quite wearable. Like it's not too neon, it's really summery. But um, but it's not too neon. 
that's really nice. Here is the second colour. So this is Man Overboard and this is a really nice warm rosy pink. Next up is Sure Thing. I'm excited for this one. It looks like a nice warm sandy nude from the lid. Oh yeah, this is really nice. Oh my, this is gonna be so popular. That is lush. So I would call this like a caramel nude beige. This is so nice. It's a nude, but it's not too pale. So like Udder Perfection and At The Altar are really like pale nudes, um, which I really like, but for some people it just doesn't suit their skin tone. Um, oh, this is so nice. I can't wait to see it on. It's really nice. I know I'm gonna have a few clients in particular that are gonna be watching this, <laughs> feeling very sad that they can't have their nails done at the moment. It's really nice. Really brilliant coverage as well. Love it. That is gonna suit so many people. Love it. Um, I'm looking forward to try seeing what this is like in comparison to Nude Real Attitude and Delicious. Be intrigued to see what they look like. Here is Sure Thing. So this is definitely a warm caramel nude. And I love it. Uh, anyone that knows me, I really love like my strong colors. So blues, greens, purples. Um, and I'm not really into the pastels, but I do love a good nude, and this is right up my alley. So uh, yeah, very, very nice. Up next we have Ahoy There Matey. And I challenge anyone to say that name without saying it in a stupid voice. <laughs> Let's see what, I mean, to be honest, from the lid, it kind of looks like what I have on. Um, this is um, Charming Cherry from the color 2020 collection summer squeeze for any of you that would like to know oh okay so this is definitely more of a red oh i like it nice okay this is a bit different i wasn't expecting a um proper red this is like a proper classic red so yeah quite um Quite unusual it looks like maybe it needs a bit of a mix so I'm just gonna grab my spatula just in case the color actually is a little bit different it looks like it's kind of separated a little bit so I'm just gonna okay so not that much this is really nice but just not what I not what I was expecting um, I mean, I guess it's nautical, so there is going to be a red in there somewhere, um, but it's more red. I thought this was going to end up being like a coral red. Um, yeah, I'm going to be interested to see what this is like next to the other reds, so like real red and the crown jewels, um, because from memory, I can't really place where the tone is sitting in next to those. So um, let's get this one swatched. So it's definitely brighter on the colour pot, I think. Um, I think the black packaging of the buttercream jar is making it look darker. This is definitely going to be a two-coater. So that's one coat. I'm just going to cure that. It goes neon pink in the lamp. <laughs> so I'm going to pop a second layer on nice it's kind of like um like a strawberry red um it's nice 
I wasn't expecting this kind of colour, but it is really nice. Here we have Ahoy there, matey. Did it without the voice, um, which is a strawberry red. It's definitely got like a pinky undertone, I would say, uh, which makes it a bit more summery. Um, definitely going to be intrigued to see this next to the other reds that we have in the collection. Next up is What's Happening Captain, which looks like a nice peachy pinky colour. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, do you know what? I was just thinking in my head, I've done so well, I've not ripped any of these foils. They've all come off in one. And then as I was thinking that, it started to tear. Oh, I've saved it. I've saved it. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, so it's like a, it's definitely a pink rather than a peach, but it has got um, warmth to it. It's nice. I'm going to swatch this one. Oh, this one's got really nice pigmentation. This is definitely going to be a one coat wonder. Really, really nice to apply. It is reminding me of something else, but I can't place in my mind what it is. So I will look forward to doing the comparisons on this one. It's nice, really, really good coverage. Um, definitely on in one coat. Here is what's happening, Captain. So as I said, this is a light pink with a warm undertone. And last, but I would say definitely not least, I think I'm gonna like this one. Um, this is all hands on deck. Uh, from the label on the top, it looks like an indigo. So it looks like a blue with a slight purple tone. Let's have a look and see. Open this one up. Oh, I've, I've torn it, I've torn it. Oh, nice. Okay, this is different to what I thought. Um, this reminds me of, I can't think of the name. It reminds me of another color. So um, on the lid, it looks blue, but in the pot, it looks purple. And this is reminding me of a color gel, um, which I can't place the name of it off the top of my head. Um, let's get this one swatched. So on the brush, it definitely looks purple. I don't know if you can see that. But then when I paint it, it looks blue. Can someone please tell me how this is possible? <laughs> this is reminding me of a color that I think maybe does like the opposite. It looks blue and then goes purple. I can't remember, but I am liking it. So I think this is definitely gonna be two coats. So it'll be interesting to see if it goes more purple with the second coat. So I'm gonna cure that one. So it definitely pulls a little bit more purple with the second coat, but I think I would still call it a blue. So I'm gonna go back to my original description before I opened it and I would call this an indigo, indigo blue. really nice I think it may look darker when it's actually on the nails um, but hopefully you can see that it has got that it is definitely blue but it does have that purple undertone really nice really good option for people that aren't necessarily like into the really bright colors for summer um, but still like to wear something quite strong. So that is all hands on deck. So this is color number six and it is all hands on deck, which is an indigo blue. Um, I think it will look slightly darker when it's actually on the nails and what it does on this pop, because obviously the pop is clear, um, but a really nice wearable color. Uh, I am now gonna get all the colors together so we can see what they look like. So here we have all six colors. 
So we have anchors away, man overboard, sure thing, ahoy there matey, what's happening captain, and all hands on deck. So overall I think this is a really nice collection. It's completely different to the summer colour and glitter gel collection which is really really nice um, and I also think it's really different to any collection that we've had from Light Elegance before with the combination of the red, the blues, the pinks and the nude. So I am going to now do some comparisons with some colours that we already have in the collection just so that you can see them next to colours that you may already have and you can get a bit of a better idea on the colours and what they look like compared to them. So the first one I'm going to pair is Anchors Away. Now the first one I wanted to compare this to is just a Mirage, which is from the Spring collection. Uh, this was from the Spring Desert Dreams collection. Um, they look more different in reality. I don't know if they're pulling very different on camera. Um, just a Mirage has got like a lilac -y tone to it, whereas Anchors Away is definitely a true blue. So. Um, if you like your blues, I would say you definitely want Anchors Away in addition to that one. And then here we have some other kind of mid-toned blues. So it's definitely, if you like Justice, if you are a Justice lover, you are going to want Anchors Away. It's kind of along the same depth of colour um, in the sense of like brightness. It's definitely in that kind of family. Um, and I guess tone-wise, it's fairly similar to neon uh, blue, but um, yeah, it's really, really nice and it definitely has a place in my collection of blues. Next, I wanted to compare Man Overboard with um, Dragon Fruit. So Man Overboard is on the right and Dragon Fruit is on the left. This is from the Summer Squeeze collection. Tone-wise, they're quite similar, but um, Dragon Fruit has got that really nice shimmer through it. So definitely complementing colours rather than matching, if that makes sense. So now comparing Man Overboard to other pinks in the collection, I wanted to see what this one was like next to Bold, Beautiful and Bold, but actually they are totally different. Um, Beautiful and Bold is definitely more of a blue-toned pink. Uh, there we have Rose to the Occasion, Pop Block and Drop, Playful Pink, Cha Cha Cherry and Heart Shaped Box. Now out of all of those I would say it's most comparable to Heart Shaped Box. Heart Shaped Box is a little bit lighter um, but I believe that this is a limited edition colour Heart Shaped Box. It was released as part of a Valentine's collection. So if you like that colour and you want a permanent fixture then uh, Man Overboard is going to be your perfect replacement for that. Next to compare is Sure Thing. Um, I wanted to see it next to Nude with Attitude. Um, the tones are very comparable, but Sure Thing is definitely darker. It's not as light as Nude with Attitude. And then Delicious, I would say it's like a shade lighter and it's got a little bit more of a pink than Delicious. Delicious is definitely more like a true caramel. Um, Easy Breezy is definitely darker and more pink. Um, Udder Perfection is lighter and with a slight grey tone. And then At The Altar and Cream No Sugar definitely lighter. At The Altar is more grey and Cream No Sugar is definitely a paler version. So if you like your nudes, you're definitely going to want this in your collection. And I would say it is quite different to anything that we have. So. Um, it's not going to be a dupe for another colour that we already have. Next to compare is Ahoy There Matey. So this is the red. Um, it is, let me just figure out what I've got. So I've got primary red gel paint. Primary red gel paint is definitely a little bit darker and um, a bit more of a neutral tone. Hot tamale and real red. Um, these ones here are definitely darker, so um, Poison Apple is definitely more pink. So if you have Poison Apple and you think this may be comparable, Poison Apple is definitely more pink. In fact, putting Ahoy There Matey next to it makes Poison Apple look pink. Um, Living Lavish, definitely pinker. And then Spicy in Spain and Slaying in Red are just definitely darker. Um, 
I'm kind of intrigued with these two next to each other. Um, I think Ahoy There Mate is actually filled the gap that I was looking for. So um, real red has been kind of our brightest red up until this point, but I think Ahoy There Matey is like a brighter red. So um, I think this is actually filling the gap that I've been missing because for some people, real red is actually not bright enough. They want that real bright, you know, pillar box red. So um, I am really chuffed to have this color in. Um, like I say, I really wasn't expecting it in the summer collection, but um, I think this is gonna get a lot of use, not just now, but um, as we go into, dare I say, autumn, um, I think this is gonna be a year round classic color. So very, very happy to have that. Next for comparison is what's happening, Captain. And I think I was, I had in my head that it was gonna be similar to Skip to My Lulu. I think this was the color that I had in my mind, but you can see it is very different. Skip to My Lulu is definitely more of a bubblegum pink. Um, what Incarnation is probably a little bit more similar, but What Incarnations is definitely more blue toned, um, whereas What's Happening Captain is definitely more of a warm pink, which I think is gonna make this color really wearable. So anyone that is scared of color, but likes the pinks, um, but tends to go down the lighter pink route, um, I think they're really gonna like this color because um, I don't think it's going to be too offensive and also I just find warm colours are really flattering. For our last comparison, which is all hands on deck, I've pulled out some blues and some purples to compare them. So the one that I had in my mind was Bougie Babe and that one looks, I can't remember which way around it is, it looks blue in the pot and then it comes out purple, I can't entirely remember but you can see that they are completely different. Um, All Hands on Deck is definitely more blue, Bougie Babe is definitely more of a plum, uh, Madame Mim is definitely more plum, uh, Fine Tranquility is definitely more of a dark blue and it's more of an inky blue and then I did pull out Justice and Centre of Attention because they're kind of our brightest blues and they're very different. So this definitely is individual and um, is not really like anything that we have in the collection at the moment. Um, I'm really intrigued to see what this one is like on a set of nails, because I think it's gonna look different with like um, an actual nail base underneath of it. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this one is actually like on nails. So there you have the brand new Nautical collection from Light Elegance. This collection is going to be uh, released for purchase on Friday the 29th of May. So keep an eye out for that. Um, if you are an international uh, buyer, then you can purchase via Light Elegance um, HQ. Um, in the US or from your distributor. If you are in the UK, then this collection will be available from Sweet Squared. One of the things I really wanted to point out with this collection actually is that they are all cream colors, which I love. Um, none of them have any shimmer, um, which personally I really like. I really like cream colors. So um, let me know what you think of this collection. Will you be purchasing it? Um, are you looking forward to getting some new buttercreams in your life? Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to find out when I am uploading next and turn on that notification bell so that you are the first to know. So thank you so much for joining me in this video and I will see you in my next one. Cheers guys, bye. Then coronavirus, coronavirus. Um, does anyone else get annoyed like me? Like, I've only done one colour pop and I've just made a mess already. Damn it. Ugh, I can't get it open. I can't get it open. Um, it's just what I like. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think. 